San Beno, Mininir Andy, Yu Benwe. Hello, my name is Andy. How are you? Let's talk about the Mongolian language or Mongol Hill. Mongolian is the official language of Mongolia and both the most widely spoken and most known member of the Mongolic language family. The number of speakers across all its dialects is around 5.2 million, including the vast majority of the residents of Mongolia and many of the ethnic Mongol residents of the Inner Mongolia Autonomous Region of the People's Republic of China. In Mongolia, the Khalkha dialect is predominant and is currently written in both Cyrillic and traditional Mongolian scripts and at times in Latin for social networking. In Inner Mongolia, the language is dialectally more diverse and is written in the traditional Mongolian script. Mongol, member of a Central Asian ethnographic group of closely related tribal peoples who live mainly on the Mongolian plateau and share a common language and nomadic tradition. With a few exceptions, the Mongol social structure, economy, culture, and language showed very little change over many centuries. They were basically nomadic pastoralists who were superb horsemen and traveled with their flocks of sheep, goats, cattle, and horses over the immense grasslands of the steppes of Central Asia. Mongolia is a landlocked country in East Asia, bordered by Russia to the north and China to the south. It covers an area of 1,564,116 square kilometers or 603,909 square miles, with a population of just 3.3 million, making it the world's most sparsely populated sovereign nation. Mongolia is the world's largest landlocked country that does not border a closed sea, and much of its area is covered by grassy steppe, with mountains to the north and west and the Gobi Desert to the south. Ushlanbator, the capital and largest city, is home to roughly half of the country's population. The Mongolian flag is three equal vertically striped with red on each side and a single blue in the middle. The red symbolizes freedom, prosperity, and progress. The blue represents the eternal blue sky. The national symbol Soyombo centers on the hoist side red. The name for the Mongolian nomadic dwelling is Ger. Mongolian Ger is more than a tent. It is home, as Mongolian nomads have been living in it throughout the year, and prefer Mongol Ger to other forms of housing. Its durability, lightness, and low cost are of tremendous advantage to the nomads. Mongolian Gers have been a distinctive feature of life in Central Asia. There are some ancient rock drawings that prove that the ancient people used the Gers about 10,000 years ago. Nomads have been using this collapsible dwelling over the centuries. The Ger suits the best to the nomadic way of life. The best use of the Mongolian Ger has been since the 13th century of the Genghis Khan's Great Mongolia Empire. There were different shapes of the Ger depending on the rank of the people. It gained today's shape and appearance in the 16th century. Genghis Khan was the founder and the first Great Khan, or Emperor, of the Mongol Empire, which became the largest contiguous empire in history after his death. He came to power by uniting many of the nomadic tribes of the Mongol steppe and being proclaimed the universal ruler of the Mongols, or Genghis Khan. With the tribes of Northeast Asia largely under his control, he set in motion the Mongol invasions, which ultimately witnessed the conquest of much of Eurasia. The Mongol horse is the native horse breed of Mongolia. The breed is purported to be largely unchanged since the time of Genghis Khan. Nomads living in the traditional Mongol fashion still hold more than 3 million animals, which outnumber the country's human population. UNESCO established its list of intangible cultural heritage with the aim of ensuring better protection of important intangible cultural heritages worldwide and the awareness of their significance. This includes the traditional music of the Meranghur, Urtindu, or traditional folk long song, Biyashge dance, traditional epic poem, Tur and Blown Flute, the traditional Nadam festival, falconry, a living human heritage, Mongolian throat singing, Mongolian calligraphy, traditional craftsmanship of the Mongolian Ger, and its associated customs and others. Mongolian cuisine predominantly consists of dairy products, meat, and animal fats. The most common rural dish is cooked mutton. In the city, Steamed dumplings filled with meat, called booze, are popular. 
The extreme continental climate of Mongolia has influenced the traditional diet. The use of vegetables and spices is limited. Due to geographic proximity and deep historic ties with China and Russia, Mongolian cuisine is also influenced by Chinese and Russian cuisine. The standard language has seven monophthong vowel phonemes. Length is phonemic for vowels, and each of the seven phonemes occurs short or long. Mongolian has a complex consonant system with 29 consonant phonemes. Stress in Mongolian is non-phonemic, does not distinguish different meanings, and thus is considered to depend entirely on syllable structure. But scholarly opinions on stress placement diverge sharply. Most native linguists, regardless of which dialect they speak, claim that stress falls on the first syllable. The normal word order in Mongolian sentences is subject, object, verb. Although some permutations are possible, depending on contextual factors, Mongolian has borrowed words from many languages, including Sanskrit via Uyghur, Tibetan, and more recently Chinese, Russian, and English. Mongolian has been written in a variety of alphabets, making it a language with one of the largest number of scripts used historically. The traditional Mongolian script was first adopted by Tamuchin or Genghis Khan in 1204, who recognized the need to be represent his own people's language. It developed from the Uyghur script. Between 1930 and 1932, a short-lived attempt was made to introduce the Latin script in the Mongolian state. In 1941, the Latin alphabet was adopted, though it lasted only two months. The Mongolian Cyrillic script was the result of the spreading of Russian influence following the expansion of the Russian Empire. There are two types of written Mongolian used in China. The traditional Mongolian script, which is official among Mongols nationwide, and the clear script, used predominantly among Oirats in Xinjiang. In March 2020, the Mongolian government announced plans to use both Cyrillic and the traditional Mongolian script in official documents by 2025. In the next part, let's hear the beautiful sounds of their language. Numbers Nick Hoyer Korov Duru Tav Zorga Dosla Nam Yus Arov Greetings and Phrases Seno, Sembeno, Ugloni mint, Udrin mint, Ara mint, Sachen amrare, Beiste. Tim, Ugui, Maratui, Za, Beirsla, Zuger, Uchlare, Nadet harmsalte ben. Vocabulary. Nyam, Tava, Megmar, Savuk, Puru. Pasang, Pyamb, Kirbul, Aav, Ech, Hu, Ochun, Ir, Imichte, Chich, Nud, Hul, Kar, Hotra, Am, Hamar. The Parable of the Prodigal Son. Tir, Hoyer Hute, Nikhun Baiche, Bakhun Itte, Ava. Eid hurung no so, not hoig min nat dogoch kehite. Eidhun hoir hute, hurungo hoajogo. Hitting udrin dara, bakhun, hamgima hamad, as hotting or nig, zerinot jeb. Tint tir, dortorora, endrch, eid hurungo, urn taranhi. Tunig, buhima barch dosot. Terhunotinch, surhi, usulum bolch. Ter yum yumar, gachel de jichlov. Tiget teriabch, ognotin nigging irinig barat hobolch. Monochn, Kahaga Herudotar, Tunig Yawl de Baja. Kahang it is Wesson Borskar, Hototo Dur Kikter Husum Jilich, Hinch Tunt, Yuchuk Sungui. In Hutter Ocharn, it's him in Hutsum Musing, Hitchnich, Tathar, Ilpig Tilpig Badig Vijete, Getilby in the Usijuchen. Be Basada, it's Tachi, the Gate Tunt. Ava, be Tingering Sirk, Tanium, Nugli Wiltje. Би цаашид таны хүүгийг тэн зөвсгүй. Харин намайг хөлснийхөө нэг хүн болгооч гэж хэлье гэв. Тэгэд тэр босож эцэг рүүгээ явжээ. Харин эцгэн түүнийг холоос харч их дөрөвдөн гүйж ирээд тэмэр чүнсэв. Хүн түүнд ава би тэнгэрийн эсрэг таны өмнө нүг л үлдэжээ. Би цаашид таны хүүгийг тэн зөвсгүй гэв. 
харин эцэг нь болууддаа хамгийн сайхан хувцас хурдан авчирч түүнийг хувцсал гардан бүгж зүү хөлд нь гутал өмсөг таргын тугал авчирч нядал бүгд дээр найрлаж цэнгий учир нь энэ хүү минь өгсөн боловч амь оржээ тэр алдагдсан боловч олблоо гэв тэд найрлан цэнгэлдэж эхлэв өөгөн хүү нь талбай дээр байж тэр буцаж гэртэ ойрт нэрхтэй дуу хуур бүжиглэх чимээг сонсоод зарцнарынхаа нэгийг дуудаж юу болоод байгааг асуув тэр түүнд дүүч нь ирсэн таны эцэг түүнийг эсэн минь дэ эргэж ирсэнд таргын тугал нядлуулав гэж харин өөгөн хүү нь уурлаад дотгш орох ихч хүссэнгүй тэгтэл эцэг нь гарч ирээд түүнийг аргадан гуйж эхлэв хүн түүнд хар олон жилийн турш би танд зарагдаж байна би хизээч таны тушаасныг зөрчиж байгаагүй гэвч амт нөхдтэйгөө баярлах үед минь та ганц ишигч надад өгч байгаагүй харин хөрөнгийг чинь янхнуудтай нийлж цөлмсөн энэ хүүгээ эргэт нь түүнд зариулж таргын тугал нядалж байдаг гэхэд эцэг нь хүү минь чи үргэлж надтай хамт байсан миний гэсэн бүхэн чиний их шүү дээ харин энэ дүү чинь өгсөн байсан гэтэл амилж алдагдсан боловч олдлоо имес бити баярлан цэнгэх ёстой гэв гэжээ